morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all very much uh, for coming this morning. I know it's early. I, I appreciate it. Um, but we've got a fine day in, in Uptown Kingston. Um, I want to just thank uh, Don and Judy Tallerman um, for uh, opening up um, this beautiful space for us. Um, the Senate Garage has been um, such a great addition um, to our Uptown community and uh, the number of events uh, that are held here and the number of people um, that are brought uh, to Uptown Kingston um, because of this uh, event space is, is truly remarkable and uh, either, of the, either of them will be happy to tell you about the dozens and dozens and dozens of weddings alone that they book each year. Um, just imagine um, the type of economic impact that's having um, with people coming, uh, many for the first time to Uptown Kingston. It, it is just truly remarkable. And so thank you both for your commitment um, and dedication to Kingston. So I don't think I have to introduce myself, but for those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Steve Noble. Um, I am the mayor here in the city of Kingston. Um, and I'm really excited um, to just uh, introduce you to a few of the people um, that I believe are going to play a critical role in the future here um, in Uptown Kingston. And I want to be able to also share with you uh, some of the updates um, about our city-owned uh, former um, parking garage location uh, known as 21 North Front Street um, today. And so um, we're going to have a, 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 an opportunity for me to speak uh, a little bit more and then we're going to uh, um, get on with the show today. So um, I want to just let you know um, how important um, it is for me um, as the mayor to wake up every day um, and be able to look around um, and see what an amazing opportunity it is uh, to serve this city. Um, we have such um, amazing assets. Uh, we have such amazing people. Uh, we have creative people coming here from all over. Um, and it's truly something that I look forward to every day. Um, many people joke around with me and, and say, you know, it's not an easy job, is it? And, and no, it's not an easy job. Um, and as um, the county executive will attest, um, we do this because we love uh, the community um, and we love the city. And that's why we work um, so extremely hard um, each and every day. Um, and I also see that our businesses are stepping forward each and every day, not only to support each other, uh, but also to support the neighbors um, that we all have. Um, because we have so much in common um, and that commonality, I believe, um, is truly our love for community. And, and that, I think, is what this project is all about and, and why I'm so excited uh, to be able to um, help kick this off today. So for me, um, I really believe that Kingston, um, in order to be successful, we have to grow an extremely talented team of individuals um, that can work together uh, to be able to create um, this new environment, this new economy here in, in Uptown. And so um, with that, I, I think it's important um, for me to be able to um, invite my close friend, my colleague, um, and my teammate, um, County Executive Mike Hines. Mike, could you just come up for a second, please? <laughs> Mike has been an absolute tireless leader uh, when it comes to advocating for Kingston and for truly, you know, the opportunity to be able to stand uh, together with Mike on this issue for Uptown. Uh, not only do we share uh, a love for Kingston, um, Mike has his office here. He sees Uptown more than I do. Um, and, you know, he truly um, knows the people, he knows the community, but he's also seen the struggles um, that Uptown has had. And I mean, I know that um, you know, just looking back uh, a decade, or Uptown has seen such great improvement. Um, and a lot of that has been because of the county's commitment uh, to Kingston and the, the county executive's commitment um, to seeing our city succeed. And that's why I'm so excited uh, to be able to have your support in this project. And so would you mind saying a few words? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Make sure we're clear. We have an extraordinary mayor in the city of Kingston, and that makes all the difference in the world. We're really fortunate in that situation. So, Steve, again, thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for I, like many of you in this room, remember what it was like. And that memory of what it was like wasn't always so perfect. 
In fact, I remember all the way back, that's how, I'm starting to get gray hair, I guess you notice that? The, uh, I remember all the way back, when Uptown was this booming, dynamic retail location, but more than just a retail location, it was a place where the entire community came together, where the entire community had opportunities to be able to celebrate. And then, the world economy changed, the, uh, uh, our, the Kingston's economy changed, and we fell on hard times. Uptown Kingston became a place where you could buy virtually any storefront. It was simple and it was easy. But the problem was, nobody was walking the streets. We didn't see the baby carriages. We didn't see the vibrancy that comes with having community all gathering in one single place. We lost that. And we thought in many ways, it could possibly be for forever. But something very special has happened. Many of us have collaborated, the community has embraced, and other people have discovered what was once a best kept secret. And that was that Uptown Kingston and buying local and these kinds of cities can be the future. And we have witnessed over the last few years a complete renaissance, an amazing growth in a place that we all love. And it can be special. But so what happens in the future? Can we just stay stagnant? I know nobody thinks there's a parking problem in Uptown Kingston, right? <laughs> That's been going smoothly. It's one of the challenges that come with success and growth and those kinds of issues you must face. If we're going to have a true renaissance and make sure that everyone can participate in it, we need to hit tipping points in things like population so that businesses can be more diverse and so that we can solve critical issues like parking. And that's one of the reasons I'm so excited about this project and I'm so excited about the partners that we're working with. We're talking about people who are dedicated to community. They get it. They're from upstate New York. They appreciate what this is about. And they understand there are two ways that upstate cities can go. They can evolve poorly, not addressing their challenges, and really spiral into a way that can be very negative. And we see examples of that everywhere. And then they can skyrocket. They can be the kind of place with walkability and success and the kind of place you want to raise your family. We believe that's what Kingston is. I've always believed that it can be part of this amazing community, this amazing county, and make it the finest place anywhere to live, work, and raise a family. All of that can be real here. And these kinds of projects are pivotal to it. And to be quite frank with you, it's the partnerships with people like the mayor, his team, all the people who are here today in the business community who are embracing this, and again, the people who are committed to developing high quality projects. So I feel blessed to be part of it. I'm excited for what it means. We still have many, many, many hurdles to overcome. But if we are successful, it can be nothing short of transformative as we shape the future and still retain all the beautiful history that is the city of Kingston. Thank you. So today, now I guess I should use this. So today, uh, we are going to talk about our team, and I want to introduce you uh, to um, you know our our process and and how we've gotten to where we are today. Uh, so as you know, um, just across the street, uh, the former site of the parking garage, um, this parking garage, and and we'll so show some images in a little while uh, about what it used to look like and, and and really and what it looks like today. Um, it was crumbling, and uh, the city needed to do something with that, and so. The garage is no longer there, um, and now um, it's a public parking uh, lot, which uh, again meets a need, uh, but it doesn't fully meet the needs um, of Uptown Kingston. Um, but what I think is also important uh, today is that we're not going to give you false hope. We're not going to make promises that I can't keep. Um, what we're doing today is we're announcing um, that we're going to be having uh, a team uh, working together uh, to develop a project um, that we believe um, will uh, meet the needs of the community, uh, to be able to be a, a, a community-oriented development, one where um, we start the process like this, um, instead of handing you a project that's already completed, um, where we can go ahead and create um, a true community dialogue about what we all hope um, is, uh, as 
the county executive mentioned, a transformative project here in, in Uptown Kingston. And for me, what this type of project can do is to truly inject uh, the type of uh, heart and the type of energy that we think Uptown is going to need to be sustainable um, for the future. Because we all have seen this boom and bust come and go um, in Uptown Kingston over the years. And um, we think that this project um, can um, be what kind of cements, uh, if you will, uh, Uptown as uh, the economic development engine uh, for the county and for the region. And so um, with that, um, I just want to give you a little bit of background and then um, I'll introduce you uh, to our team. So uh, back in the fall of 2016, uh, the city of Kingston uh, released a request for qualifications. Um, we went through a process uh, trying to, to select um, uh, in, an individual who could help um, move this project forward. And with that, we selected uh, Wright Architects, and I, and I just want to mention uh, Andrew Wright uh, is here with his team. And um, Andrew um, went ahead and, and took this um, concept that um, has been floundering um, for over a decade, and um, it is something that Andrew has um, fought for for many years to try to get something done on this site. Um, Andrew is uh, not only an architect, uh, but someone who owns uh, many properties uptown, including uh, the building just across the street here. Um, and so he has a, a pivotal interest in seeing um, uptown be successful. Um, and through that early work, um, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Joe Benmar Jr., um, Patrick Page, um, and of course, um, Brad Jordan, um, who we all know and love, <laughs> um, and here in our community. Um, and over time, um, it became clear to me um, that I found the developers that um, can take it to the next step um, and be able to help um, work with the community uh, to bring this project to fruition um, and really be able to um, help champion uh, the, the cause of having a place for people to live and work um, and play all in uh, the heart of Uptown Kingston. And so um, you've heard enough from me, um, and so what I'd like to do now is I would like to turn it over uh, to, to Joe, um, and uh, Joe is gonna go over um, just a little bit about their background and their history and, and also introduce you to uh, the development team. And so, Joe. All right, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, we're very excited to be here. Come on up, Brad and Patrick, you guys gotta stand with me. <laughs> so uh, first I'd like to say uh, we, we wouldn't be here without the initial tremendous support of the mayor and of the county executive. Their teams, um, them personally, we're, we're extremely excited to be in Kingston. Uh, my, a little bit about us, uh, we'll, you want to go to the next slide? Sure, thanks. So we have three different family businesses that have been around for quite a while. My parents were actually married in Kingston and lived here for 10 years. They started way back when with the first Perkins Pancake Houses and then grew into uh, this large hospitality group that we have now. Uh, we've also morphed over the years into multifamily housing and some other things. Uh, Patrick's family has been in the lumber business, commercial real estate business for over 80 years. And of course, everyone knows Brad, I think, in this room. And their family business has been around for over 1909. 1909, so over 100 years. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're local people, we get it, we care about uh, the community. Um, Kevin knows I was a member of the Community Foundation Board for a long time, and uh, we're not, uh, we're here to build something that's gonna work, not just for us, but for, for all of Kingston, and for really Ulster County as well. So next slide, please. These are just some of the uh, businesses that you may have seen uh, that we're all associated with. And you can move on to the next one. Okay, so this building is a building that we just built last year in Poughkeepsie. It's called the Water Club. Uh, I'm showing you not because the architecture has anything to do with what we're planning to do in Uptown Kingston. It wouldn't fit in this city or this spot at all. But just to give you an idea of the, the breadth of a project we pulled off uh, within a seven-month period last year. We started construction on this project in March of 2016, and we had the first residents move in in November of 2016. Uh, we had 56 apartments ready by November, 44 more ready by the middle of December, and the remaining 36 ready by the end of January. 
Um, this building is now uh, five apartments away from being 100% occupied. So there's 131 out of 136 apartments occupied, and that's not bad for just over a year's work. This is in the city of Poughkeepsie, uh, just across the street from our restaurant Shadows in the Grandview. It's on a five-acre parcel. Uh, what we learned, we learned a lot along the way, but there's some really interesting features of this building that we would bring to the, the project here in Kingston. The amenities are something that people really care about. Again, the architecture, the skin of the building, is what we're going to be proposing is completely different. But the pool, the rooftop terrace, the dog park, the idea of a concierge building, living in a place where people will take care of your needs um, and still feel connected to where you live and work is, is what we brought to Poughkeepsie and what we plan to bring to Kingston as well. Next slide. We talked about parking and we talked about, we will talk about some of the other needs. I showed the Poughkeepsie Grand Hotel. This is another business that my family owns and operates. Uh, we've owned it since 1994. What's interesting about this property is that there's a 225 car parking garage that the hotel sits on top of. So that's very relevant for uh, what we're going to be proposing to do here in Kingston. As we know, we need parking and not just parking. We want to build more than that. So there's an interesting dynamic with maintenance construction and operation of a garage with a business on top of it, and we have the experience to, uh, to pull that off. Okay. So Uptown Kingston, I, I think you all know this spot better than I do, um, but we need to uh, at least show you where we're going to be working and what we're going to be doing. So uh, there's really two sites that are involved in this project, and that may be some new information. We've been talking about what is the existing parking, or the former parking garage site, currently a flat, lot, which is right here, 21 <coughs> North Front Street. But what we're also going to be doing is, is making this a bigger project. So Brad's uh, company <coughs> owns this uh, property, oops, sorry, across the street. So it's this, uh, it's this old, uh, what was a hotel, and that was the picture that was on the screen when we began, and being used currently as a warehouse for Herzog's. There's, um, so, so this entire piece of property here will hopefully become a part of the overall project and make this something bigger than just addressing the parking need. Uh, this is looking at it from another angle, um, an aerial shot um, of the existing building and it, it, its current state right now. And so now we're gonna look about some site history. Okay, so what was here? On the 21 North Front Street site at one time, there was a, we all know, a parking garage and the parking garage had to be demolished. Um, from what we understand, it was due to some deferred maintenance that never really took place, and as well as we know there's some underground issues that may or may not have played into the, the fact that the building uh, couldn't be left standing any longer. But we are, uh, we're here to, to fix those problems and, and do more. Okay, so this is an old historic picture of what Brad's warehouse used to look like in the very, very early 1900s. We don't have an exact date of this photograph, but it's become the inspiration for what we hope the project to become. The name of the Kingstonian uh, is going to be the name of this project, and that will be the name of the overall project, not just uh, one piece of it. So both sides of the, of the Fair Street extension will be named the Kingstonian, and the architectural uh, elements from this historic building are going to be really at play in what we propose, which you'll be seeing uh, in the future. This is what it looks like now. You can see there's been a big change over the 100 years or so. And uh, we're, we're excited to say that you know, in, in our future plans, that the height of this building, that's as high as we're going um, with what's going to be next door. We know that there's been some sensitivity. Um, there was a project proposed in the past that didn't go through. And one of the concerns was, what is the scale? What is the size? What is the height? And we just want to tell you today, while we're not ready to show you all the details, because we're still working some things out, but the, the height of this existing building is where we're going to be. OK, I think we have. So we, we talked about, we've alluded to this. What is Kingston e parking? Everyone, I guess, understands that. Um, so this project is going to not only increase the amount of publicly available parking, but it will also provide the necessary parking for the project that we're going to propose. Quality housing, as uh, both Mike and Steve pointed out, uh, people, the more people that live in Uptown Kingston, the more we can support the existing businesses and help them flourish. 
So we're going to be proposing a very, very nice uh, multifamily project that's going to sit on top of part of this parking structure. Hotel rooms. Um, this building that we're in right now is a driver uh, for that, and we know this business very well. Um, we're looking at hopefully providing some hotel <coughs> space as well to the Uptown Kingston area. The exact number of rooms uh, and the mix between hotel rooms and uh, housing is we're still working out because we uh, don't pretend to know everything yet, but we're, we have a pretty good handle on it. And in the coming weeks, you'll be able to see more of that. And then pedestrian connections. This is an amazing walkable city. Uh, when we came up here and we toured around with Brad, I was blown away. Yeah, it was a Friday night in the middle of the winter. And I couldn't believe how many people were out and about walking around Kingston. Um, I'm from, New I live in Newburgh, and I'm quite frankly, I'm very jealous. This is amazing what you guys have going on here. And we want to help that grow and flourish. If we take these, these two pieces of property that we're talking about, which sit right at the end of, I think, two of the most important streets in Uptown, and we turn them into the hub of what can be even better than it is now. It, it's, it will be transformative. I like the word that you use, Mike. I think we really can help take Uptown to its full potential. So uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna turn it back over uh, to Steve, and I don't, you may have a few more remarks. That's, uh, that's where we are for right now. Thank you. What I want to do um, before we close today um, is to just give you um, a, a sense of, of what's next. Um, and for us, um, today starts the beginning of a community conversation about this project, the Kingstonian. Um, but there are many steps um, that we need to take to be able to um, have this project um, be realized. Um, for us, um, it's multifaceted. One, um, we need the community's buy-in. Uh, I think we have it on the parking, um, because we all know that we need more parking in Uptown Kingston. Um, but we want to continue to have conversations, um, both in large settings and small settings, um, with individuals that know um, best what Kingston needs, and, and that's the people that live and work here. And so we're excited that today will mark the beginning of that conversation. Um, we're going to then um, continue to work um, with that information and develop um, concepts and drawings that, again, we'll be sharing uh, with you and, and the rest of the community in the coming weeks. Um, but one piece that's also extremely important for us to recognize is that we can't do this alone. Um, and I'm very lucky, again, to have a partner in the county executive uh, to be able to work together uh, to be able to find the, the funding that we're going to need uh, to have this project come to fruition. Um, because a project of this size, building public parking um, of this size and quantity um, is going to take everybody chipping in. And, uh, and that, that includes New York State. And so we're hopeful that New York State will be able to help provide us support um, for this project because I think without their support, we may not be able to get it done. And the same thing goes with the county and the city um, all playing an important role together um, to be able to, to put the pieces um, in place that we need. Um, and so with that, I think that we'll then be able to take this project um, as we go uh, through the fall and early winter um, into the kind of the next stages. And again, for all of you stakeholders in the community, um, if you have ideas or suggestions on who you think we should be talking to or reaching out to, um, please let me know, um, and I'd be happy to have uh, a time to, to meet, set aside to meet with you and your organization um, with our partners. Um, and so with that, I just um, I want to say thank you uh, to, to all of you, and thank you to the county executive for your help. Um, and, I, and I want to thank all of you um, for, for helping to support Uptown uh, through thick and thin. Um, it hasn't always been easy, um, but we believe that this project um, will provide the stability that Uptown needs uh, to continue to thrive and to be able to continue to um, shape Ulster County's economic future. So with that, I want to say thank you all very much for coming, and uh, you can now all get to work. Thank <laughs> you.